Fly your fair nation. Fly your fair nation. <sighs> Sex voice. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is powered by Fly Fair Nation and Kingdom Studios Broadcasting Network. We are here tonight with the one and only Dem Sugar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we had to jump in here real quick because there's some fun stuff happening this week. It is what Thursday, the twenty fifth. So hopefully this is dropping Friday. If I don't go to sleep too late, I don't know why Janae <laughs> pulled me in for this tonight, y'all. Because it's fun, and you know I feel like it's a great. Great night to be alive. <laughs> Mix up you like, you know. Sometimes, sometimes. Mm, so, the other topic's going to take too long, so we're just going to start off with this foolishness. Um, y'all president, right? And him trying to redefine gender or sex as whatever it is that's on your birth certificate, your original birth certificate. What is your take on that? That Trump need to mind his funky business. Mind your funky business. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. Leave me alone. Like, <laughs> like people too concerned, yo, like about what's going on in other people's pants, like, and what they want to, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. define themselves as. Like, mind your business. Yeah. Like, the table. Yeah. 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 That's... Just mind your whole business, bro. Like, it. I don't get it. I don't get it either. And we have much bigger problems. Much. But I feel like he does a lot of theatrics. To distract from, you know, actual issues that need to be addressed. Because what exactly is that for? You don't want to support it? Funding for testosterone and hormones and all that fun stuff. You don't. Because at one point, I feel like he has a bit of an obsession. Obsession. (laughs) Obsession. Because at one point... He was talking about, um, what was it? They couldn't participate in the military. In the military. And then now the it's funding. this. Right. Exactly. Same thing again. Yeah. So it's like. He got a whole agenda, though, mm-hmm. of things he wants to cross off. Like, yeah. And he's targeting all the fun topics right now. All the fun topics. That's it. Everything from immigration go all the way right yep. down. The stuff that gets people stirring and people mm-hmm. talking and all that. That's yep. what he do. All of it. So, I mean, he's a celebrity. We can't cuss up, yeah? Yeah, you can't cuss up. Yeah, man's up a soul. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Like, big time. And I mean, literally, like I said, every single problematic topic that is about he is for or bringing up or like, it's theatrics. It's all theatrics. So that's just that. I just Yaka had to talk him. about that Yaka because, yeah, it, it don't Tied make no sense. Tied in. Sorry. Tied from when? Before. So Way before. And he just keep going, like, yeah. every few months is something else, like yeah. another pop-up. Mm-hmm. He's still on Twitter? Man, <laughs> yo, I be wanting to tweet him, right? Mm-hmm. But, y'all know, I got a little fear in my heart. I be like, next thing you know, police going to pick me up on the something. I'm like, yo. The way life's set up, though. You feel me? And I foreign on things. Next thing you know, they got an eye on me. Mm-hmm. The man is after me. I ain't with it. Don't come after me now, because I'm saying this shit right now, because y'all know how y'all do, but... <laughs> See, I have a I have a strict thing about not retweeting anything that has his name in it or mm. a- actually typing it. Tonight was the first time I actually typed in his name because I was like, let me look and see what if, foolishness. Like, yeah. yeah, what is actually going on? Because I look on Twitter and I said, Jesus Christ, walk on yes, sir. All right, somebody had on the radio and I was like, oh Jesus, no. So I was like, yeah, let me let me see mm-hmm. what's going on. And then I'm just like, why for funding? For funding, you are worried about smarty money, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So it's like I said, way I'm going to keep issues, saying it. Way bigger issues. It's theatrics. What about them people who pitting away your teeth? I was, yo. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Worry okay. about the children who ain't got no parents because you done side hustle their par- their these kids. kids in like these concentration camps. Mm-hmm. Chilling. Mm-hmm. No parents, no nothing. I heard something about them doing like undercover adoptions. Yo. Yo, for real? Yeah. No. That the, <laughs> the parents have been, you know quarantined so off and the pit of them just did it by themselves and they're doing like underground i don't know if it's true or not because like i said no, i haven't man. been typing in his name for anything so i yeah i don't know i can't even lie to you like sometimes some days i kind of have to tune out the news a little bit because oh, yeah. it's a lot like but you and, know i don't watch the news yeah it's I, a lot for me so sometimes you know when i'm on twitter a lot mm-hmm. and then i see the stuff the topics mm-hmm. i'm like what's going on or i get on to like facebook mm-hmm. and i follow one of those news stations so they'll mm-hmm. pop up with stuff happening in Florida or yeah. anywhere huh. else. Florida? Florida. Y- you want heart attack and high blood pressure and all them something there? I would never. But that's the... Oh, <laughs> I would never. The amount of fuck you that go on in Florida? I was going to say yesterday with the whole bomb thing. <sighs> right. I didn't even know nothing was going on. Mm-hmm. Right? Social media is where I get my Bruh, news. Didn't know nothing was going on. Went on Facebook. Facebook had the news live, mm-hmm. the helicopter. You had these live things. <laughs> Chill me. Keep me informed though, right? <laughs> so this thing says, Aventura... 
Just bomb, <laughs> bomb at Aventura. I was like, I'm in Aventura, like at this moment. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, wasn't there one not and too I long ago? And I look out the window, come like, so which direction? Like, <laughs> where do I need to go? Mm-hmm. Nothing. I don't get it. Yeah. And speaking of bombs, Has I know. Has he said anything about it? Huh? Has he said anything about it? Not that I know of. Mm. Not that I know of. But there was a bomb threat in Aventura Mall at one point a couple months ago. Like, not too long ago. Around December-ish. Yeah, but did you um, get that notification on your wonderful smartphone that lets you know that, you know, the president is trying to contact you? Mm -hmm. A lot of people were talking about how, (laughs) um, well, on one hand, it's... Because nobody watches the news anymore or listens to the radio, mm-hmm. that's how they're going to be able to communicate with us. And then, you know, there's the other people who are like, they're watching everyone. This is how they're going to, you know. Mm-hmm. Let, and I just, I, I heard that a lot of training people didn't get notification. <laughs> you know, the only thing that bothers me about that what? is like, you ever watch some like scary movies or some thrillers, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like a whole bunch of people standing somewhere like in a train station or something like mm-hmm. that. And then all their phones go off mm-hmm. all at the same time and it's some crazy something mm-hmm. that's happening. At that's work. the only thing I don't like. Because everybody got an iPhone mm-hmm. or an Android. Android but right? those, those and went then off too. Everybody phone going to go off and it's just going to be panic, panic, yo. Yep. That yeah. is the only thing that I didn't like. That kind of happened though because you work in a smaller, you know. I was employee. in the office by myself, thank God. Uh-huh. But I heard everybody else's around the building and the office. Oh. And everybody came out in the hallway. They were like, did you get this? See? I was like, yeah, and I don't know why this man texting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I work in an open format warehouse, mm-hmm. so like everybody's department is gated off, but we all have one roof. Everybody so, phone. What? Bruh. Like people upstairs, people in like every department, we all sitting there looking around like, what the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. And then me being petty, like, oh, so all y'all got y'all phones on y'all? I was about to say, yo, to the people <laughs> you that like work in these like call centers phones? and all that, mm-hmm. your phone not supposed to be on the floor? Everybody, everybody yeah. got in trouble that day. <laughs> <laughs> Snitching and shit. Damn, Mr. President. <laughs> Just out here telling all people. Niggas got their phones on their desk and their desk drawers and shit. everybody in any way he can. <laughs> yeah, no jobs for you. <laughs> Love. But yeah, that that was that was a wicked one. Um, we jumping off that one because that's Yeah, I'm over him now. Theatrics. He's stressing me out. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I try, like I said before, I don't watch the news because I don't, I can't, I I've can't. I can't. I really can't. Because, you know, growing up with Caribbean parents, all they want to watch is the news. From morning till night, every news channel that come on, news, news, news. Trust me, I know, because <laughs> mama, yet o'clock, mm. CVM. Mm. Mm-hmm. Daddy. Without Daddy can't from it. Jump. Can't miss it. Mm-hmm. So. And then run it straight back through till evening time. And Jesus Christ, how much news I can't watch? Me, I just, I can't. You need, see, sometimes I go ghost from social media. I just be like, whew, y'all doing a lot today, boy. I just... Let me go read a book. <laughs> I tell Let me go escape reality for a little bit. But on that, Spice and her theatrics. Woo! Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Sip like a water, yeah. I drink like a bit of water. So <clears throat> I think I might do more than that. I was ahead. minding my business, mm-hmm. right? I didn't even see when the picture dropped. I didn't even see anything because I don't know some of love off spice from when. So minding my business, I get the picture and I was like, oh, she coming out with something. Me, because I know my spice, right? All right. So then, I don't know if nine, oh, nine, I, <laughs> my cousin posted something on her Instagram story. I love story. you, babe. I do. I do. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Love Just let me Lord. know. What? <laughs> Just let her know. Just, <laughs> so we... I'm sitting there. I'm looking at her story. She posted a picture of me and her sister. You know, all three of us talking about somehow nobody never was teaching us how to Different love ourselves. Shades and y'all exactly. All look in the, in the yeah. yellow, right? Mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. Talking about how nobody was teaching us about women united and you know woman empowerment and Facts. you know loving yourself and none of that. Whatever, whatever. And I said she was upset. So I messaged her. So I, was, I didn't even know really what happened. I didn't, you know, because people love trouble. Are something says somebody has some fuckery. So I messaged her and I said, Yo, who who trouble you? What's up? She said, Spice. What's that we it? Grace Hamilton? I said, no, yeah, sir. Yeah. Like you're a Spice are friend. Don't come in from a friend. <laughs> like you're a don't Spice are big friend. Don't come in from a friend. My artist. You're a Spice are friend? No, she know we, you? we meet one time. We have one picture with her. My friend. Hey, that's <laughs> <yeah, I'm> true. <laughs> For real, though. But, um, so I was like, all right. So I said, I said, nah, really? Come on now. But you know the type of music nah, I listen to. Nah, you're not really into Spice type of music. You know what I'm saying? So she said, I never like her from way, no. I was like, wait now. Hold on there. Here we go. Don't listen. Because you sound ignorant now. Come listen to the song, whatever. So I sent her the song. Right. 
She sex back. All right, Spice win. I said, okay then. So, me know mm-hmm. Twitter. Mm-hmm. On Twitter, I see somebody say, oh, what Spice I want with? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, some rush go Instagram now. Yeah. Go to MSA. You know, I picture them going, yeah. see this picture MSA? Oh, this looks so. You know? <laughs> so, I'm going to turn up. Ms. You know, I'm like, oh, this looks so. I'm like, what? Yo. Mm. Okay. I was like, oh, something. Mm-hmm. Something. I was like, first of all, the woman got tattoos. Yeah. We tattoo them gone. When yeah. they bleach, you tattoo them. Yeah. Gonna bleach, wear. see? Tattoo. Hey, that's why cartel bleach. I was like, are y'all dumb? And then everybody, and I need a cuss. What? They want a bad word. And then I was on Twitter. Jesus Twitter was a whole other. Everybody with their joke. She not spicy. What? Flour. Like, yeah. <laughs> Sugar. And then different people sent it to me. Lati sent it to me. Mm-hmm. Big up yourself, Lati. And all of that. Yeah. And I was just like, listen. Come on. Like, obviously, this is a thing. Mm-hmm. I said, this is a promo thing. Listen, my thing is, I love Spice. Right. I, I listen to Spice. I watch her interviews. I watch her performances. I, all of it. But at the end of the day, like, I watch an interview that she did one time where she said, Spice is the stage. Spice is the queen of stage. That is who y'all come out for entertainment. Grace Hamilton is a nef- different person. Whether Spice or Grace Hamilton come out, at the end of the day, she love her skin. Right. Point blank, period. So when I see that, I said, I didn't even look at the tattoo so far to go to say, you know, I didn't even go that far because I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Let me just look on it and say, <laughs> we just say, all right, look. okay, she had do something. So I go watch the um, the she, live. Yeah, she a fool. She with a fool. The everything with, with the, the white lady and <laughs> and I'm looking at her and I'm just like, I see everything you yeah, doing right now. Idiot. And, I, and I, said, I already knew I was like, this that is was something. before the song dropped. And I said, this is something on mm-hmm. skin, and I already mm-hmm. know, and I am perfectly okay yep. with what's about to happen. I'm watching all these people. I'm like ignorant. I'm like. Do y'all have any y'all sense? Y'all don't know Spice. Do y'all have any sense? Y'all are not Team Spice. Y'all are not Smurfettes. Yeah, that's what I said. Real Spice fans know mm-hmm. that this is some promo thing. Mm-hmm. But yo, they went crazy with the memes and shit. The Spice Challenge. <laughs> okay, first of all. Bruh, first of all. I better not see Flora. any of you guys this weekend oh, for yo. Halloween dressed up by Spice. I'm not playing. You know what's happening. You know what's happening. Oh. You know what's happening. Oh. Bear people on their leopard spin um, print shirt and <laughs> them blonde wigs. Oh my gosh! Yo. You saw the please one with the white chicks, the white chicks. Yeah, and then <laughs> please don't do it. You know they are. Is that still the only picture up there? No, no, no. She puts up more picture now. She she come back brown again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't even bad. look. I didn't even look yeah. at it. Mm. Yeah, I just I ended up on it because she's on my explore page because all the damn Caribbean people I follow. So that's coming up. But and that was like the head conversation mm-hmm, this week. Mm-hmm. And I ended up in a wormhole because I was looking at all the memes Which and all. Nikki Chroma's um, Instagram. Her, her, her breast? Her breast? No, the bleaching cream. Chrome yeah, no, white. Yeah, chrome white. Yeah. Chrome white. Yeah. Yeah, so, chrome white. I want to buy that. Clot. My God. I'm going to take a talk. I'm going to go get No, that. no, I no. Them. Oh, oh we ahead. have to talk about that. I never know about that one. I never look on the breast. Sorry. But no, listen. She have money because the bleaching cream sell off. Bruh, listen. Every, yo, everybody's buying it. Yo, the amount of customers in... Sh- listen. Nikki Chromas, if y'all listen, yeah, I want to talk to you, you know. Yeah, yeah. I want to have a conversation with you. Come here, look for somebody with bleach. Come here, look for somebody with another business. Come true. We can do it on the phone. Dead serious. Well, I'm... you're supposed to get a link, you know, because you're supposed to lay up a heel. Oh. Me see a girl, me a weird. <laughs> me a weird for the big reveal. Jesus Christ. But no, so she posts something on the Chromite page. Said, of course, uh, um, Chromite um, Spice did you use. See the, did you see the picture with Spice came for the bag? Oh, Jesus, No. Really? They went that far. They stupid. But no, further down on Chromite page though, there's a video of Spice outside the gate. Say, yo, Mrs. Say yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, No, my me, I stay black, my love my skin. I said, yo. Duh. And she um she ships and all that. Yeah, international. And people are buying bro. it up, bro. I don't know. Missy video and it's, people and are rubber. Pe- people are just peeling, yo. Yo. Mm. I got goosebumps thinking about that I mean, shit. You know, I love that Meanwhile, look at you know, me, like, I try to get little color. Still, um, first thing. We just want to look a color. Just get If me. you want bleach, you bleach. Right? Mm-hmm. Just that. Yeah. That time. We have nothing against yeah, them. We just want, want bleach. We you just know. want to know. Just, you know. You know mm. Brown skin. Mm-hmm. No, me have black somebody still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just... Good. Yeah, that, that did well. And then, yo, I wonder how much um, business go up for... <laughs> Do not... What's that sell out here now? What? Out of business. I want to know if she's making it. Is she, yo, I have so many questions. For, for her? Real. You yeah. just not follow her? Yeah. You just? Well, I follow her for about a I was following her on my personal year, page at one point, and mm-hmm. then I cleaned out and or I whatever. I Snapchat too. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. 
<laughs> you love the mix up. You have to talk about me. No, eh? because I just that she like she's like a businessman. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, she but know the name from bunch when of stuff going mm-hmm. on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like from her girls that be a party like bottle yep. service and all that. Yep. Like that's where I first heard about her. Yeah, mm-hmm. so she lit. Mm-hmm. Bleaching cream turn up, etc. etc. Look at you. <laughs> all right, so like ambition. Yeah, all I'm something that enough okay. people just sit down now do nothing. So, oh, I saw. Mm. Make sure they talking that makes it in your way. Yeah, I say yeah. They yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Diana. laughs> So, saw something on the interwebs, right? The, the what? Uh, the interwebs, the internet. Pan the wifi. Yo, you ever heard it? Call it the interweb yet? <laughs> the interwebs. The interwebs. So I know you've seen it. Everybody's seen it, but it sparked a conversation in my mind that, huh? I'm scared. No, don't frighten. It's I'm okay. Scared. It says sometimes a man hurts every woman who enters his life because his true soulmate is a man. <sighs> Tell me how you feel about me. <laughs> Girl, that's how the thing tough. Look. Tough. Look. Um. <laughs> you, you look stressed. Oh, yeah. You yeah. look stressed. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna jump straight to it. Internal homophobia is a real fucking thing. Right? It's it's a real thing. And a lot of people, they they feel like that's not true. Why would you know? But the society we live in, it's you can't help well, I shouldn't say you can't help, but it's kind of normalized to be homophobic. We're we're trying to change the narrative, you know, every day we have activists and you know, all these things happening. But People, because of their own fear of being rejected, feel like it is okay to project hate mm-hmm. for something that they are. Other people, yeah. yeah, it's like, you know, you're projecting what you feel like is going to come to you if you become, if you act on who you really are. Like, I always keep, I keep bringing up down low men and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Some of the men as big as, you know, bona fide, da 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 da, are <laughs> undercover doing something else. Yeah, no, for them bad men out there. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, like man. Yeah. Enough yeah. of them. Yeah. And that was just another angle for me. I never really put that in my mind. And I was just like, ooh. I think it's one of those thoughts that you don't think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So often, but it might cross your mind. You're just like, maybe. Yeah. Like, because you know how it is. Like, even in any kind of relationship, right? Yeah. Like, when someone is not with the person they want to be with. Yeah. Or... Not able to express Ooh, themselves. Oh gosh! Come through with this word for me today. Oh gosh! Today. Ex- <laughs> this blessed Ex- Thursday evening tonight, y'all are. You know what I'm saying? Or express themselves the way they want to. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a lot of anger, mm-hmm. and there's like resentment, but it's like, to well, who? Yeah, they don't know where to direct it. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like a whole bunch towards yourself too. Yeah. At the same time, so mm-hmm. you end up take all this hate that you got, you just spewing it out like this. Yeah. You feel me? Cause. Like yeah, thing. life tough. I mean, like you said, it, it is a lot of that because society sucks. Like, yes. people just can't be themselves and people just mind their business and let people go no. about whichever way they want to go. Nah, it's getting worse. Yeah. You would think that it would get better as time progresses it's and getting worse. social media is letting people be mm-hmm. more expressive and there's so worse. many. Yeah. But I feel like it's also based on the circle you're in and the people you involve yourself with and what you choose to entertain. Correct. That post, though, that was just directed towards... It was a woman that posted it. Uh, it was a woman, right? Yeah. No, it was a gay man. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so... Okay. Was it a gay... Is he gay? Oh, shit. I'm sorry if you're not gay, but it's a man. So he posted it first. Sure? I don't know if he posted it first, but it was that's where I saw that's it. That's what I'm saying. I want to know if it was a woman that posted this or a man that posted this. And I want to know what their Backstory. sexual orientation oh. is as well. Mm-hmm. Because cause if you look at the comments, it's mm-hmm. a lot. Of, a lot of guys are like, hmm. Some guys are like, hmm. And a lot of guys are like, nah. Yeah. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah. It's impossible. Really? Yeah. Is it really impossible? Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all, do the, y'all do the same thing even with women. Yeah. Y'all have a wife or side chick, right? Yep. Even though, like, so let's say the guy or whatever, he has, he's sleeping with a guy on the side, but he has a wife. Yeah. He'll he's treat on a the wife. He'll, yeah, he'll treat the wife bad at home. Yeah. And the, the like thing everything. on the side will get everything. Like that's, everything. That's just. And I have seen it. Yes. And just use you for coverage. Like, yeah. use the woman for coverage. Yep. But that's not where the love is at. And she's staying there like it's okay. Exactly. So, and a lot of them know. 
and don't yeah. care. So yeah, but teach your own boy. <laughs> it's tough. Like I closet life, mm. and it's not even. I shouldn't. Okay, I shouldn't even say closet life because it's not necessarily closet life. It's self acceptance life. Mm-hmm. It, it comes back further than that because people in the closet, none of them know. Hey, this is what it is. I just can't come out right now because finances or et cetera, et cetera, whatever. But you feel like acceptance should come before they come out. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of hand in hand because Because a lot of people come out, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And haven't fully accepted themselves Yeah, and end up in a whole bunch of turmoil Mm -hmm. later on in life. Yeah. For me, Mm -hmm. it was better for me to accept myself Mm -hmm. at a young, young age. Same. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or, but I did go through my struggles. You feel Mm -hmm. what I mean? But I got through those things before I came out to who really mattered, yeah. which was my parents. I didn't yeah. really care about nobody else because everybody else knew. It was yeah. like, whatever. But them, that mm-hmm. was the big deal. But I was already comfortable at this point. Yeah. And y'all just sealed the deal? Yeah. Psh, it's a wrap. Fuck everybody. It's over now. <laughs> like, you yeah. know what I mean? But mm-hmm. it's yeah. hard out here. I don't know. Yeah. But you can't go around hurting people, V. But you know they say hurt people hurt people. Yeah. Just full up a hurt and just yeah. toxic. Yeah. Toxic. They and don't know then, where the direct just it. More toxic people and more toxic people. Everybody out here hurt. Like yeah, trash. But sometimes, like we were talking about, um, people who come out as well, men who come out as bisexual mm. before coming out as gay. Mm. And someone said to me that um, you can't really argue with someone when they say they're bisexual and say, "Are you sure you're not gay?" I feel like yes, on one hand, on one hand. For yourself or in general? For me, no, no, no. Just in general, because I don't want to be ignorant and say you can tell when somebody's gay, but sometimes you can tell when somebody's gay. Like you can see how they interact with members of the opposite sex versus how they interact right. with members of the same sex, and be like, "You're not bisexual." That told on me a lot. That told <laughs> oh, really? On me, like, like when I was a teenager, <laughs> like Snitching. people used to be like, "Cat." Who you faking we for? see the way you, you are with girls compared to the way you are with guys. Like, who you trying to fool? I just be like, all right, chill. Mind yeah. your business. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying, though. You can kind of be like, okay, you don't have to fake it with. But like I said, it's good for people to have safe spaces and people that they can trust and people who they can be themselves with and comfortable with. Because you are here doing, even if it's just one person, person that you can right. confide in, that you can sit down and, you know, take your wig off and let the titties breathe and be like, <laughs> bitch, listen. For real though. You know, like somebody that you feel, like I remember when I was like, I think freshman year of high school or something, I was friends with this girl and she, her parents were like real hard down strict Christians, right? Like strict. She wasn't, well, Amen. I shouldn't say she wasn't gay because something happened later on in life and who job. But, she, we we're like 14, 15, and she, now me, I, I've been grown from when, because I, I like underwear, enough. even if it's just to look at. No. So I was wearing thongs and stuff like that when I started high school. and all, <laughs> Don't fix your face Wait, like that. Wait, thongs? Yes. You know I me like and thongs. Thongs, you know, thongs and G-strings. Thong. Y'all, I am very old, okay? <laughs> like, thongs don't really do it for me. Get you some, like, cheekies. Or some, oh, the cheekies, them, them. Yeah, the, the boy shorts you with the cheeks hanging out. Out. <laughs> Yeah, them, that. Get you some of those. Men I might not be going every now and then. Get it up. I might not. I don't mind some big draws. Like I'm cool with it. Like a thong, I right, cool. But that they just not a tiny thong. I just that they just don't wear thong. I just want my pum pum to be covered. I don't. I don't like panty lines. That's my thing. But you know, uh, that's me. And I don't like bra straps. But that's another story. You don't like who? I don't like visible bra straps. Oh yeah, uh, I know that. Yeah, mm. but no. So she wanted to know you know now you know that i hoard underwear so i had underwear that i ain't even wear yet because, clean underwear people. yes clean tag still up on it and everything please and she was saying that she wanted to know what it was that and i was like whatever i gave her a thong and i'm just sitting here like you couldn't talk to your mother about this you know what i'm saying like and it was so much sheltering going on in that when i said people dash way and bust way and all type of something soon as them gone from the yard of course i was like Parents don't understand that, mm-hmm. you know. Pressure bus by Satan, you have a can of Coke. Shake it up. Soon as you release the top, wop them. Yeah, pressure bus by mm-hmm. So it's the same, and it's a lot of things that we hear about, like these people that come out the closet and just start whoring. <laughs> so, they reborn, bro. <laughs> it's like being born all over again. Mm-hmm. It's like, yo, 
wow, I'm a. It's like when you come out and everything is off your shoulders, yo. Mm-hmm. You feel like whoa. You feel yeah. me? When I came out and everything was good, I was like, whew. Y'all you feel me? That's the same year I started my locks. Oh, everything. Oh. 2011. The lion came out. Exactly. You feel me? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's exactly. And yeah, Jesus. You, Dem sugar was born. Exactly. It feel good. Like. I don't know. It'd be, I'd be hurt for some people like that. Yo. Like, especially when you can visibly see it. Because mm-hmm. I've seen it lots of times. Like, yeah. I'm looking at this guy. I'm like, this man don't yeah. want to be with this woman or any woman. And I've seen this woman. I'm like, this woman don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And some people feel like they have to do it. Same thing for the gays and the lesbians. Yeah. Just saying, a lot of y'all be with girls and y'all want to be with guys. Yeah, because y'all don't people to judge y'all. Let's talk about it. And um, if you're lesbian, you're you're, you're lesbian. If you're bisexual, you're bisexual. <clears throat> yeah, talk <clears throat> the things. I yeah. just want to say that because people y'all like to get it confused sometimes. Talk the things. But lesbians sleep with potay. women only, and bisexuals sleep with men and women. I, you know what I'm saying? Or men only. I'm <laughs> sorry. Jesus you understand God. what I'm saying? And then straight people clearly. Okay. Oh Jesus, me As, you know people forget sometimes. Yeah, I'm underarm sweats, my God, it people, But you know, but everybody now, but you know, let me be, let me be cute. Uh huh. You know, it's fluid, and everybody no no labels. And I'm okay. Just does I'd rather whatever, you do that. And everybody just does whatever mm-hmm. they want. Okay. Cool. I would rather that than someone say there's something that they're not because Correct. they feel like it is more accepted by society. Correct. Like I remember, I told you before, like we talked about it on the show before. When my mother told me I need to make a decision, either more on yam pum pum or suck kaki, I mean, for the side. And so, I was just, so what if <laughs> you like a little bit of both? No, like, can't do that. Oh, okay. But that's how society. She don't, she don't eat the same thing for dinner every night, do she? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't want to say What? <laughs> my God. But, you know, exactly. But a lot of people have that mentality, though. Like, Oh, you bisexual? Mm. And the topic keeps coming up lately about men being bisexual and straight women dating bisexual men or their disinterest are or they, distaste. Are they dating them? Then? No, they're not. The, oh, that's, they're that's, still not dating Yeah, them. that's, okay. that's the topic. I thought there was a change. Oh, child, no. Because, you know, it's you're gay and yeah. I don't want to think about my guy having sex with another guy and yeah. blah, blah, all of yeah. that. Some people uh, can't handle it. Some people can. Yeah, but it's it's ignorant, though, because that's why... Men are on the down low. Down, women are claiming they're lesbians. Right. Or men are just saying they're gay. Because even I've heard on this other side that gay men not trying to have sex with bisexual men because whatever. And I feel like part of it is an insecurity thing. But my thing is at the end of the day, if they're going to cheat on you, whether it's a man or a woman, they're going to cheat. It's the same thing. Bro. What difference does it make if they leave you for a man or if they leave you for a woman? Let me tell you. It's cheating. It's left. Well, see, this is the thing. There's guys out there that would know their wife, their girlfriend, whoever, mm-hmm. fucked with a girl, mm-hmm. but they're like, oh, it's right, it's straight, because it's a girl. But yeah. if it was a guy, everything would on my show. Bacchanal. You yeah. know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like, Which is ignorant. Yeah, but you don't take it seriously because it's another woman. Bitch, but I would you take t- your whole hoe. Already got her. <laughs> That's how we got here now. Like, <laughs> Already got her. Like, you see what I'm saying? No, yeah. I, no, I'm not. There's a lot of disrespect as far as that goes because a lot of people, and it's not even just men though because some women out here be like, oh, I'm not I'm not gay, but I'll have sex it's with a girl. woman. Uh, and it's just like, oh. oh, I love you cat sexuals out there. Uh, okay? No, the cat sexuals be, be wanting relationships with you, child. They, <laughs> some of these just want to have sex with the girl and carry on nah, with life. They want to have my babies. Y- yeah, and you know, <laughs> yeah. One day in the future, science will make it happen. Possibly, <coughs> maybe. <laughs> Two egg and something and things and Ray Ray and Sorry, whatever. <laughs> mm. But, you know what I'm saying? That's, it's sad because we live in this world where it's like so many people are afraid to be themselves. And not even because of something within themselves, but because of exterior forces. Like, you can't be you because you're afraid what somebody else is going to think. I'm saying. Acceptance and, or yeah. coming out. Which one come first? Yeah. Or some people can't do both at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Because... My thing is, if I didn't accept myself first, I wouldn't have known how to come back at my mom when she came at yeah. me with her questions and when she came at me with the Bible and all that. Mm-hmm. If I wasn't, ex- you know what I'm saying? I went through my I stages. I got scriptures so for you. So she came at me with scriptures and I was like, well, I have some scriptures for you, hun. Hun. Mm-hmm. Hun. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, and that was good for me because I yeah. felt like if I would have sat there and had nothing to say, it would have been like, oh, you ain't got nothing to say? That's you why. You have nothing to back up what you're doing? Yep. So you're just doing it? Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you it's wrong, wrong, wrong. So what do you have to show that is right? 
I have feelings. Girl. Feelings, feelings, look, feelings. She was shook. Okay. I bet. Because she, she never she never ready for that one day. <laughs> <laughs> y'all get to, I mean, like, if y'all, like, are, like, you know, faith and all of that, get to know the Bible a bit, like, for yourself. Like, without, like, voices from the outside and church and all that. Like, read the Bible yourself. Sit down and read it and take it in yourself. Or whatever y'all read. Yeah. Whatever y'all. Whatever form whatever of y'all, scripture. Like, thing y'all into. You know what I'm saying? Like, do it for yourself. Like, don't listen to what people are saying. If you have questions, you can ask questions. Look them up. Yeah. Because some people don't, oh, don't question what it's, no. Look, if I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. I'm sorry. And I need to know. <laughs> yeah. So I can know what I'm saying to you and we can have this conversation. So I don't look, I'm not out here looking dumb. Yeah. And I got up on the table and I felt good. <laughs> so I'm telling y'all, acceptance before out. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Some people, though, like I said, it, it goes hand in hand kind of because some people, kinda, no some no people and some people, they have to come out in order to accept themselves mm-hmm. because, you know, some people feel like it's so scary out there. And then and you got the people that never do either one. Yeah. And live in miserable. Miserable. Dead off our stress. All type of shit. Literally. Suicide, all type of shit. Literally. Yeah. All proven. Yeah. It's all out here. It's like. There are statistics. This is sad, what I'm saying. Sadly, there are numbers to back this up. There is no lies here. Like. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, that sucks still, but. It does. Like, and no acceptance and no coming out at all. So it's just nobody don't even know. Nobody knows. And you can't even accept yourself Mm -hmm. to even, you know what I'm saying? Some people won't even put thought into questioning how they feel. Oh, yeah. You know? And they'll see it and they'll just try to boom. Yeah. Like, Like, didn't, what's his name? The delivered boy? Didn't he? um... But isn't that what they say with these, like, (laughs) ooh, Janae, wait. Delivered. (laughs) He mm. listen. I saw a video of him the other day, and I was like, "Isn't that oh. what happens with the ex lesbians and the ex gays?" <clears throat> we want to go there. Do you we really want to go there? One? What you thought was gonna happen? <laughs> okay, so with them, like, what what are they taught to do? Block it out. Yeah. People, I watched a documentary mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, on Hulu. The real L word something, but mm. it wasn't the whole season. It was like some little, it was different. Okay. And. Stress. Oh, <laughs> like crazy. It, yeah. I, this one lady, she was like 50 something, 60 mm-mm. something. And she had been gay for the longest time. Mm-hmm. And then she decided she wanted to go into church, whatever, 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 all this for her family. So her family could be comfortable. How old? Like 50 something, Jay. Then she decides to go into the church and Bruh. do this? Look, okay? What the and rest? then she have a husband and children? Mm-hmm. She had a kid, like, early in Uh-huh. Life. So then they had her trying to talk to this guy and be with this guy. It was so cringy. Oh, wow. And she was like, you know, I, you know, I like him. You know, I'm getting to like him a lot. Uh-huh. And then... Uh, yeah, I'm... G- <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'm getting to like him a lot and all types of shit. She had to convince herself? Bruh. It was so uncomfortable when she was trying to dress feminine, but she was like a butch. You can always tell when they she try. She was a white butch. Like Ugh, butch, you butch, can like always a whole tell. butch daddy type. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? She oh, might have been like oh, wearing Nike? leather back in the day. Oh, Jesus. Type. Yeah, oh. one of those. And she I was just like, what you doing at this point in your life? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I see them, and I just be like, y'all look uncomfortable. Ex- the ex get an extortion? Yes. I, you hey. look uncomfortable. Y'all trying to put on, even the babies, when their parents still dressing them, and they wearing, uh. I will say, <laughs> uh-uh. there's like, it's, I'm very, uh-uh with it, because there's people who will say, okay, I've been delivered. All right, boom, boom. All right, cool. That's what you're saying. I'm going to let you have it. Right. Don't got nothing to do with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just don't come over here with your... Don't. Yeah. I'm okay with me. Yeah. You weren't okay with you. I'm okay with me. <laughs> and that's okay? what a lot of people don't realize. And that's all that matters. I'm okay with me. Yep. All right? And then... Come on. Listen. Like, you Did you look at that thing I sent you about the girl who um, found religion and she wrote the book about... What is it? I keep talking about this. I need to go read the book. But I'm still stuck... No. <laughs> because I'm still stuck on her because she is a grown-ass man. And she's out here. She went and got married. She has, I don't know if it's kids or a kid. Mm -hmm. And, you know, good, what is it called? Gay girl, good God. That whole thing about how she found, yeah, yeah, yeah. She found religion and how. Is she straight now? (sighs) 
Okay, so the urge is a sin. Oh. The attraction is a sin. So she is fighting against the attraction because of her love for God and her That's faith. That's why she's not acting. And she's one of those. Yeah. So she's going by faith. She's going by her devotion okay. to the book. Okay. That, Let me just make sure. I just want to clarify. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's, she. <laughs> and the purpose, we, we are put on this earth to procreate. So we are to. Well, I'll touch on that in a minute. <laughs> Girl, go ahead. Go ahead. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was, I watched the video and she's sitting there talking. She's like, you know, I go to church and I. Speak inappropriate when you're done. Oh, Another Jesus. one. Queen Latifah. Next. Listen, don't don't start talking about Queen, yeah. okay? But my what thing is, yeah, yeah. But she went on the whole thing. But I'm thing is, I am watching the documentary and her mannerisms and everything is like you are a grown ass man right now. You're not about to tell me that you're not attracted. But the way she's explaining it, I'm like, okay, so you're ignoring, so you're still attracted to women. That's yeah, what I'm saying. You're, just you're not acting still acting on it and you're blocking it out. And yeah, focused because on I guess you, you thinking about God instead and then of pom -pom. you have those. Yeah. There's a, there's different. Yeah. 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 And I was like, what? Your child gonna grow up and be like, mommy is gay. <laughs> like, like what's wrong with you? Like, I, I don't. I don't know. What you gonna say about uh, procreation? <laughs> Qu they Queen act Latifah? like. <laughs> yeah. They act like I understand that. Okay. But why do you act as if like lesbian gay people like they can't have kids? Well, okay. Mm -hmm. The gays hold on a minute now. Let me talk for myself. Yeah. I can have children. Yes, you can. I I, I think so. Right. Mm -hmm. I ain't checked lately, but I think so. No, I'm saying I can have kids. It may not be through the act of because no man not. I'm sorry, I'm not no man is not you. calling on top of me to have no babies, but it's just not going down. I can have kids; it just won't be that way. So, what you trying to say? What yeah. else is there? Oh, all the other stuff. Yeah, come on, man. Man should not lie with men as he does with a woman. <laughs> you think that you think it's funny, don't you? I think all of it is you hilarious. Think it's so funny because. Some people, like, I'm, I'm always talking about this. They pick and choose what they think is okay and what they think is wrong. Correct. And the things that they think is wrong is what is so emphasized. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they will talk down about it all day long. But the first thing that I think about is, you're not supposed to be judging nobody. Ain't that supposed to be God? Mm -hmm. What The way, the way y'all religion it's set funny, up. My, that's funny. You, my pastor said that on Sunday. Oh, really? Yeah. So... Go him. Yeah. Go past it. Yeah, they're pretty like cool over there. Because that that's the first thing that passing all this judgment and you're gonna like live in your truth. Live your life. Make sure you are doing what you are supposed to do in order for you to get into the gates of heaven and mm. you know, everlasting and life and all business. that. We don't all have the same journey. Listen. Don't nobody nobody really knows yeah. what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What may be okay for me will not be okay for you. But you're not going to sit over here and try to tell me what I'm doing is wrong because all of a sudden I don't like the ones that were gay or whatever and then want to hop out and then want to down talk. Like, don't even play with me. Yeah. Sharon. Uh-oh. Sharon, you was <laughs> eating pom pom, Sharon. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so oh, don't even play with me right now. Don't even play with me right now. Okay? I want to. My God. Okay. Because you acting like you like sausage. Go, go oh, good Jesus. Night. Girl, good night. Mm, I, don't like, I don't like those at all. But it, my mom once, right? You after have I a came natural out, birth. After I came out, mm -hmm. she um, tagged me in an ex-gay testimony thing oh, on Jesus. Facebook, right? And I was like, okay, what's this? <laughs> Why are you tagging me in this? She dropped a hint. And then one of my cousins that I don't like, she, um, <laughs> I don't like her. Everybody know that. <laughs> She decides to come on here. Oh, I like this. Girl. Who sent for you? Nobody. So I went back and forth with the two of them. And I was like, I got to get them up out of here. And I blocked my mom or whatever. <laughs> I'm friend her. Right? The same cousin want to come back and be like, oh, let me know when you get married so I come to your wedding. Excuse? You are goofy. What are you talking about? Come to who wedding? Excuse? Me? The one you was talking about, that I should do that. I should go and do the ex-gay thing? Me? 
they still out here trying to do um electroshock therapy and think that transgender is a mis- um transgender people have mental illnesses and all that. So I'm not even okay. Good so for the trans so transgender people have mental illness. Yeah, apparently statistics show that 33 percent of Americans believe that. How many? 33 percent. I said say are 13. Either way, it's way too much. How but many? There's a percentage. No, I need that you to com- figure out if it's 13 or 33 for me. Let me go upon the people that because that's a, that's a bit of a gap. But that's still too many freaking. However. People. 13, sound better than 33, Janet. Yeah. 33 is too close to 50 to me. (laughs) You're gone far, yeah. All right, where is it? Nah. Either way, a lot of people do feel like it's a mental Just transgenders now? Well, I mean, remember at first. You well, know how that the was. article was about you know the gender identity thing, so that's you, where. Yeah, so yeah. then because you remember at first it was mm-hmm. the lesbians and the gays. Yeah. It was a mental illness until they said it was no longer a mental illness. But they were saying also that um, as far as a lot of the issues with that, the bill being passed and everything is that people twenty one percent. I was smack dab in the middle. Twenty one percent. And there's 1.4 million adults that are transgender. Oh, 1.4 million people that are transgender in the United States. Yeah. Wait, how many people are transgender? 1.4 million. Yeah, I think that's where I saw it. There's 1.4 million this transgender people. This article is from 2016. Oh, 2016. So it's probably uh, more than that now. Wait, so wait. Wait. Yeah, you're what I'm saying. How yeah, many? What I'm saying. One, one more time. One point four million people in the United States are transgender as of 2016. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. <laughs> that made me smile. Yeah. I just want to go hug all of them. Yeah. What? Yeah. But imagine though, wow. all those people that won't have access to medical care because I'm all the ones that are underneath the radar. Yeah. And what about the yeah. ones that are transgender but cannot afford to identify and get all the changes and in... it's and to other people it's all in their head. Yeah. What about those? Yeah. I mean, it's and also that was from 2016. Wow, so plus that plus everything that you just said that mm-hmm. we are at the end of 2018. And everybody and and now a lot of people feel a lot freer now. Some, yeah. well, right now it's a you know what I'm saying, yeah. the past couple of years it's been like a you know like the spike, you know. Yeah, the spike. There was a little bit the, of spike, the, I don't know lie, y'all. There was the, a spike. The spike. There was a bit of a spike. We did say this. You remember the first yes, episode? Yes, we did. There was a bit of yes. a spike in the transgender community. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm I'm sure I'm gonna say that maybe that's because of acceptance, comfort, and, and such, and everything yeah. is changing. So people feel a bit freer to come out and be who they are. Listen, there's this girl I follow on Instagram. Mm-hmm. When I say she is gorgeous, who? Her name is Megan. She young though. This young chocolate. Listen, first of all, her weaves be silky and laid to shit, but. <laughs> No, I be looking at these people on um, weaves and stuff because you know I like talking bad about people sometimes. But it, when the, when the wig look dry and you know it just it just it don't look like a lace front thing. Yeah, you know I hate those. Yeah, but you can't tell. You can't see the lace. Like you know, I hate. She a be lace all front. in the. She be twerking and popping and twisting and it it's secure. Oh yeah, it is secure. Her oh. shit be flowing and flipping and ro- okay. I'm, yes, bitch. I'm like stupid. go ahead with and yourself. How, how old is she? I don't believe she is nineteen yet. Nine, I, I don't believe she's there yet. Young, young, young. Like is she, young. Has she has surgery? No, no, can't. Right? No, probably no. just still. She got her little hormones you know. and everything going on, but she be out here. Her lip gloss be popping, skin be glowing. Listen, it's wow. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. It's a lot like, of that. That's a lot of people. It though. is. That's and then and then twenty twenty one percent. Yeah, twenty one percent of shit. people think that it's a mental illness. And my parents are probably like in there, for sure. Mine too, probably. My parents are definitely in there. But like a mental illness. <laughs> Anyways, listen. I could just imagine what, imagine what, what what Jamaican people really think about transgender people. Can you imagine what they really think? I would rather not. I'll type up. I would rather not. I've never, I've never really sat and had a. We still can't get past gay. But Child. on the topic of gay, though, the article he just sent me Janae, when about the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender pride group in Montego Bay, St. <laughs> James, held an event called Walk for Rights on Sunday, the first March to end Pride Week celebration. Now, I heard about this. Excuse me. Huh? 
When we when are we going to Pride? I can't see the future. Backside. <laughs> Many are Miss Cleo. No, I, I don't know how the future goes. We not so we not. No, we not. I've already said I would love to go. Right, but in time. I know somebody that went this year. That yeah. for real who? Um. Well, you don't got to say who, but you know. What I'm oh saying? no, like, Chris Mitchie. Oh please, she has a YouTube channel about being a Jamaican lesbian. She's born and raised in Jamaica. She lives in New York. Yeah, yes. I love her. I'd be shouting her out. She's supposed to be coming down here to talk on the show one day. Okay. But um, yeah, she went. She was out there documenting and you know doing all the fun stuff. And I was like, ah. I was so mad. I'm still mad about it that I, I left. A couple like different like lives. Yeah. It was. It looked like a good time. Yeah. There was this one party that was lit. Yeah. And they, I was like, yo. Yeah, it was a sports day and stuff, too. I was like, boy, Jamaicans. Mm. I love it, though. And it's mm-hmm. like right when my birthday is and all that. So yep. that's lit. Everything roll up right in independence and all, all of that. that. Yep. Everything. I wonder why those days. Because. Why not? Celebrate. No, I just wonder. But I love I love the statement. Mm-hmm. I love the statement. I'm here for it. But I'm wondering if that is what it was. Was it a statement or just them days? Coincidence? <laughs> um, Doubt well, it. Remember the video that you- Jamaicans uh, do things by coincidence? Mm. No. <laughs> for real, for real, though. We petty. We petty. Exactly. They're like, you know what we're going to do? Mm. Petty and gay, just res- extra petty. I respect it. Yeah, same. Fully. That video you sent me on the YouTube, was it a documentary or was it a live? Of, oh, Jesus, I can't remember the name of it. But it was um about the LGBTQ community in Jamaica. And it was on Facebook. We're Facebook. watching on Facebook in the Facebook. middle of the day. I was at People Them Job in a corner. <laughs> watching the video Mm -hmm. and something in it struck me i talked about it when i was talking to carla the other night and you know the the problem with all the songs about burning out and blah 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 boom bye bye whatever that struck me that they said how when them songs come out it's skin out time party turn up i was like yes yes because at the end of the day if you let it hurt you it's gonna hurt you you already know how i feel about that yeah I feel like that come on, your time. Okay. What's yeah. up? And that's, remember, at yeah. the Team Dutty party. Shout out Team Dutty, of yes. course. <laughs> that's how we, I was we were like. dying. We were I like, was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, certain songs come out. It's like, yo, don't shy. Mm-hmm. Like, some people look at me. You remember how they do? Yeah. Some people look at us like, are you, yeah. like, are you okay? Nigga, get Bitch. off me. Get your I'm good. Out. Get mm-hmm. off me. I don't care about no damn song. Chew on yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. So... All right, so when, this article I was, I was trying to get into. When am I free, Bojo? Is it this year? <laughs> you know, that's Jamaican. No. <laughs> Yo, not at all. <laughs> when am I free, Bojo, for real? You know? Oh. No, for real? They're not letting them out? I think it's about time on, like two months or so. Yeah. Isn't before, this, yeah, before December? before the new year. Yeah, December, early December. I just need them to put I'm Bojo sure. and Beris for best oh, of the Jesus. best next year. Okay. Good luck with that. That's all I need. That's all Good I need. Good luck with that. What do you mean? Good luck with that. We Rest would know already who was on the bill. Is, didn't they already have like a skeleton list of who's on the bill? But no. next year? No. It's, 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 it's what, six months from now? They got to worry about a boat. They, they, no, listen, man. they are sending me emails about oh, booking my room. Oh, you talking about Love and Harmony Cruise. Oh, Jesus. That's what I'm thinking about. Best of the best. Yeah. Exactly. Never mind. All right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yes, Barris Hammond... Six after listen, Barris Hammond is... <laughs> Love and Harmony crew. So that's why you said Barris and I think. That, y'all, I want y'all to know something. Oh, Jesus. That is my man. Like, I love him. Like, he could sing to me every night. Like, I... Oh, my gosh. Wow. Barris. I don't know if you ever... I don't know if you would ever find this. But if you ever, or if anybody links, tell him that I love him. Okay? Cool. So I'm going to read this article. <laughs> I just do you look so smitten, I child. Look, girl, I'm about to watch them videos tonight before I go to sleep. Because, you know, I got I went and saw him, you guys. Oh, mm. yes. Yes, Every did. year. Oh, it's like a date. <laughs> I can't take it. I feel hot now. I can't take it. Nurse, <laughs> you making me warm, bro. Go to bed. Talk about something. Talk about something. That's going to be the fucking caption. Barris, you making me warm. <laughs> yeah, talk about something. <laughs> but, <laughs> look at ice in that cup of the ice melt <laughs> I find myself. I want to be so stupid. Straight from. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wait. No. Where am I going to want? No. Look. No. He said, Where am I going to want? Where am I going to want? If you want to cuddle, we can cuddle. No, we can cuddle. Up little bit. We can cuddle. And he can sing to me, but I don't know where I want. But him, nothing, you know? Watch him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nastiness. <laughs> You're putting them past them. But. 
Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but I'm reading the art- article because it's not long. Mm-hmm. Uh, where we start? Okay. So people often think that we are afraid of the homophobia and not willing to confront it publicly. And this march shows to me that there's at least a significant number who are willing to stand up and claim their rights. Well, just because you don't know what's happening don't mean it's not happening. That's on that. So it goes on to say, while well, not sure whether the L- LBGT community is What's growing. <laughs> um, he said that it's becoming more visible, which he believes is very important in the liberation movement. People fear what they don't understand and what they don't know. And the more people see LG- LBGT people, the more they will mm. realize Jesus, that they know someone who is gay. Well, yeah. Tomlinson. Everybody knows said somebody even who's gay, though whether the person out you know what I'm saying yeah. whether they know or not that's what they're saying though they don't know that if the community is growing or if people are just becoming it's becoming more visible mm. so then it goes on to say Tomlinson said even though they were there was fear among the LGBT group oh they spell it right this time LGBT group before the march when they saw the number of supporters they felt safer he said that their fear was further quelled by the presence of policemen who safeguarded their route that is what it is yes. And that is something else that safety in numbers. Yes, as far as um, I encourage Jamaica Pride, they have but police. I think, but this is why even now, me and you shy away from it. Yeah, I've admitted to my ignorance. I already know. Look, y'all not about to play with me. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. I know my people. I'm just saying, like, I love it. I support all of it. You feel me? But I need safety in numbers, though. Yeah, but. It looked like I said the number of them there. It's growing it's every growing. year. I'm with it. It's growing every year. I support it in everywhere. I will. I will get there. One day. I will get there. One day. And them not done the time soon. So that's what I'm saying. Is it's time now. Yeah. They better not stop. <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't see a reason why they would. They going for government and, and all um, types of things have one too. Saint Croix. Yes, I did see that. I posted about that, and I was watched, like, I was yo. watching it on Facebook. Yeah, I was, was watching it. Wow, yo. Yeah. yeah they were How they damage everything? They were a little angry though, boy. But that was beforehand. After, well, not even because even on the on the, route, the comments though, on the route, the people were like, they yeah. they signed, you know, regular protesters and all that. They yeah. were rough, but you don't know Caribbean people. Listen, Look, the people that sat there and watched the live and cussed through the whole live. Uh, why are you still watching it? I don't. Why? Why? You see how people still? Why are you still watching it? Okay. If you don't like it, why are you still? How you got? How you even got here? How you? Reach here? How you? Because it's not the regular um Saint Croix, right? You know, right. it's. The consortium for yeah. the LGBT woman. Like, yeah. how you reach that song? Mm. Enough. Bad. <laughs> Bad. Like, I click, 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 I end up here. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fast. I click in people business. Just fa- yeah. That's exactly yeah. what it is. You saw something like, me no one, no man, da, 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 da. Yeah, who, yeah. who, who, who are man? Click, click. Yeah. Until the end of yeah. the song. Yep. Watching it. it's a trail. Watching it and talking all the shit. Yep. Giving them all the re- all the ratings, all the views. Cause you, and then you go tell somebody oh, else and the two are in there chat about, like, that you, makes sense. Would you rather not spend your time being positive? No. People but people just angry. According to Wikipedia, <laughs> NOT, which means gay in Jamaica, is a name. Yeah, I know. Gay or les gay and lesbian? Or is it just gay? Uh, it's just gay. Yeah. So but buggery, I I talked about this before. Bugger? Yeah, that's illegal. Like male on male anal sex in Jamaica, it's not legal. No, that's it's not. And that's one of the things the Gay Agenda Manifesto was trying to mm-hmm. eradicate. Like, yo, can I go fuck my man? Like, what's up? <laughs> like, what you in the back, you sir? Group of men. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so I that's know. what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah. Oh yeah. But you know what's funny? That's illegal. But a man that's fifty odd years old can talk Why to again? a thirteen year old. Well, I'm like him. Yeah. 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 So illegal for men. Yeah. Specifically. Yeah. Illegal, illegal for women. That's yeah. That's you because I know it's them. I know. I'm the one. But like I said, like uh, I was just saying, that is illegal, but a 50-year-old man can talk to a 13-year-old man in Jamaica. There's no statuta- statutory, no stat- like age of consent, none of that. Ooh, so what really I worry about. This. Ooh, child. Like the taxi man with the school yeah. them? <laughs> yeah. Mm. And you want to know how this came up? Mm. Remember I was telling you about... um. People Pitney and them 18-year-old man and 
<clears throat> yeah, so I have a friend that's a police in Westmoreland, and I link him just because I know ain't no fucking law. But I, you know, just, maybe, 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 you know, yeah, you just, hoping. I, I, fingers crossed. Grasp yeah. me that straws. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try. <laughs> me that try. Me that try. So I link him and I said, yo, are there any laws about, you know, age of consent in Jamaica? Like, you know, he's like, you know, the thing fuck up. And I said, yeah. what? What do you mean? He said, no, you know. And I was like, what? Huh? And I was like, so I gave him the start. I said, so it is okay for a 20-year-old man to talk to a 13-year-old girl? He said, yeah. Yeah, that done. I said, look, but, look how much time that happened. You know, I don't know if I'm breeding. I don't know if I'm family. I don't know if I'm family. Yeah. Like, yeah. And nothing. But y'all worried about two adult men mm. having sex with each other, consenting. Yeah. Because it nasty. It nasty. it nasty. That is nasty. It nasty. That is nasty. Yeah. That nasty. But one big hostier man can call look for one pitney. Okay. No. Okay. That nasty er. <laughs> <laughs> Not like even have little breast bust yet. Then rip. Oh, don't who? Then be, then be gay, right? Isn't that in a song? Somebody didn't somebody sing this out. And uh, I was like, Ooh, oh, I heard it the other day, and I stopped and I said, no, why? Why would I really go say that? Me that turn a rape and be- Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. Ayasa nice. Ayasa nice. Ayasa nice. Ayasa nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Me that rather turn a yeah, rape. Yeah, before me turn a batty man. Yeah. Before turn a rape. Like, yeah. for real, sir. Like, you would rather take somebody's... Like... <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> mess up. I hate mess, people. Mess I hate up. people. I hate... Like, what kind... And then... It's funny because you hear you hear that and then you hear people who say things like, Me rather my son got prison than turning a Batman. Well, my father told me he'd rather me be a whore than be a lesbian. <laughs> but you are a lesbian whore. <laughs> a lesbian. <laughs> right. The whore was telling me not to be a whore. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, you know well. what I'm saying? Well, be a whore and not a, well, I mean, I guess. Be like me, right? Like, yeah. Be like me. Yeah. yeah but whatever. like, that he really looked me in my face. He was like, Me prefer to be a whore and I was like, Really, nigga? Like, yeah, really. That's how you feel? <laughs> you was nasty, bro. <laughs> like, you was wild. He's a wild dude. Yeah. Th- that's the ignorance. That's the ignorance. I don't, I don't. It's the, it's like the worst thing. Yeah. Ever. Absolute worst. What do you mean? Like, nothing not no worse than yo. that. Nothing. Nothing no worse than that. I, you can't, you yo. can't go kill Smuddy. You can't yo. go rip Smuddy. You can't and go you- thief. You can and you could do all those things, and all you would be okay together. as long as you're not gay. Yo, wow. As as long as as long as you're not gay. Wow, this shit. Has that's it. Days. That's that's it. You can do anything in this world as long as you're not gay. You're good. People too really? Full. People are so full of shit. Really? <laughs> People too crazy. Mm-hmm. And then it's funny because on that's one thing on one hand, as far as men go, then you go to the other side of it. As far as women go, I was sitting in a barbershop one time and I hear this girl say she glad she's not in a girl picnic because she'd have killed her because she'd have turned in a whore. And I said, wait, what? I said, hi. Wait, how you? Direct, wait. Hmm? Come again. She said, she glad said she didn't have no girl picnic because she would have kill her because she would have turned in a whore. And I said, how you know that? Who thinks like that? A lot of Jamaican women. I don't know if it's just Jamaicans it's, or Caribbean women in general. It might right. be the whole of them. You're right. It might be all of them. But look how many times the, the, the same something with big man and look pan picnic and, oh, I threw you to this. Mm-hmm. Because you, yeah, no, you know what I'm saying, and or enough of them, give up them data. Yeah, uh-huh. that's the next story in itself. Yeah, enough of but them do it. yeah, example, dance hall uh, queen. Dance hall queen. <laughs> you know exactly where I was at with dance hall queen. Yes, and so just smile and yeah, like just give up. Mommy, me here to like, uh, what do you expect is going to happen? Because you need little money from what name? Larry. 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 <laughs> Larry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And oh, yeah, he, yo, they put the perfect person for that role. Because he was all the creepy, ugh. Cringy. Like, <sighs> and the facial expressions. And he yeah. flick his tongue at and her. Then, <laughs> and then he that laugh. <laughs> like, ew, bro. Disgusting. <laughs> he gross. Yes. Yeah. And it's, listen, perfect depiction of what is actually happening in real life. And people... Turn a blind eye to it, or they act like it's normal. It's one of the two. There's no, and then there's the people who are bothered by it that are told. And then you know what this had, and then this produces all these girls out there mm-hmm. with 
all these babies I know father. Yeah. Out there. Yeah. Because a big man, married man, whoever. Mm-hmm. Now, if I didn't marry, mm-hmm. they become man gone. Yeah. Because and... I don't know what you thought was going to happen if you are unprotected. Se- they realized exactly. that, you know, puberty start off from nine, nine years old for some people. Exactly. Me. Nine so, years yeah. Me. Yeah. Even exactly. before that sometimes. Exactly. So, y'all... What you think? You not you, you don't believe in using condoms. You just you just that's, you think, that's nasty. You think you just like that's a baby, yo. That's disgusting. Yeah. Did you hear about the something where this guy got his daughter pregnant and she had a baby? Hold on, Janae. In Jamaica. You hold yeah. on. No, water please. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Any yeah. facts or statistics? Because my tr- It was right? on Twitter. I you know certain things I don't like looking into, but it's things that you know actually happen in real life. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. Come on. They arrested him though. Who got, who to the got article. Who pregnant? The man gets him daughter pregnant. And <laughs> okay. she had the baby. And at delivery, I how, guess how uh, nine. Yeah. 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 And it's funny because Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nine. Her father got her pregnant. Mm-hmm. She, she, they, how did they At the hospital? How did they realize she was pregnant and did, well, you know that part? I of don't it? know that whole part because the part that I saw was at the hospital he got arrested. I guess they realized that he is the father. Miraldo. My and gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> and that just made me wonder: like, is her mother in the picture? Cause enough times, yeah, the mother is in the, in picture, the picture, and mm. pretend Ooh, this is a whole they don't know thing what's again. going on. Sometimes it be mom, dad, and child. Yeah, and the parent or whoever that movie. What's the movie? I can't think of it, with but I know the, what you're talking about. With the son that was having sex with his father, and the mom knew. Oh, I don't know that one. The son was having sex with the father? Yes! No, I'm going to know that one there. Hold on. Yo! Oh, man. They were black, too. There were, so, There's the, so many about the daughter and father having sex. No, I don't know. The, the son was having sex with the father and would not stop raping his daddy, G. Wait, wait what? And the mom could hear it, bro, and she would not, bro, she Hold would on. not go save no. the father for nothing, my nigga. Like, yo. <laughs> Manah laugh. Manah laugh. Yo, she would not save him for shit. Like, I don't know. Wait. <laughs> what? The son was raping the dad? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, that's not funny. Yo, Hold on. What's the name of that movie? Mm-mm. Oh, man. Nah, for real, for real, for real. Oh, How you? I'm t- <laughs> the strange thing about the Johnson? Yes, girl. Oh, I think I saw something about that full around on Twitter. The sun would not stop. <laughs> Yo, I'm not even laughing. Isaiah buddy. had been raping his dad since he was 12. And My... worse, his dad... Why the bomber blood? <laughs> wait there. No, sir. No. Wait. <laughs> what? Yo, this... He would not what? give off his father back, G. I don't know. His and dad refused was... to confess it to, in fear of how people around him would, would take, take it. Take it, correct. You know, there was a scene in the bathtub, yo. <laughs> The father or whoever was in there, yo, and he legit raped his father in the bathtub. Water, soap, and everything, B. Oh, my God. Okay, wait. So, the opening begins with a 12-year-old Isaiah masturbating to a photo it's a when movie. Sydney accidentally barges in and follows this up with a lecture on masturbation. <laughs> Fairly awkward, but nothing out of ordinary. Then the camera pans to reveal that the photo... Oh, shit. He was masturbating to a picture of his daddy? Bumba yo, yo, this movie was freaky, yo. <laughs> And the mom is in the other room. She heard the father, like, screaming. And she just turned the volume <laughs> up on the TV. I'm not even laughing. It's just like, yo. Ooh, yeah. It's not real laughter I'm laughing. It's not. It's like that movie was freaky. You know what I mean? Wow. <laughs> yo. Oh, man. This is wild. You have to watch it. 
You, you gotta watch that. Oh, I'm going to. I mean, I heard the title. I heard like people talking about it, but I didn't, you know. Go- oh, child. You got. <laughs> No, honestly, on a serious note, I'm glad they took that. I don't know about the son rape, raping the father yeah. part, but for, since he was a young boy, twelve, he in the bathtub Bruh, masturbating to a picture of his married. father. The yeah, son, it says something about him getting the married. The son was gonna get married, yo. So a woman? Yes. And you over here playing with your dad? <laughs> Wait, he, was he having sex with other men, or was just just was it just his dad? <laughs> I just want y'all to know that the guys in the studio are. <laughs> Out right now, like they're not having it with us in this conversation. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! That'll be all right. All right, but, but if anybody hasn't seen it, what's the name of it again? Uh, the strange thing about the Johnsons. If you got the stomach for it, yeah, that that is an angle though. That mm. is an angle, and the fact that it's a, it's a memoir, so this shit really happened. Yeah, Jen. So this is not just somebody's sick, twisted thoughts. This is something that actually happened. Sydney yes. has finished his memoir, confessing his story of the abuse which he plans to pub. Yes, oh, yo. That's so sad. Like, it happened. Sydney has somebody... his wife, like, Joanne. I laughed, Ooh. but it's not even funny, yo, for real, for real. It's like, not. It's that, wow. It, it really had me, like, messed up for a little bit. After I, like, finished watching it, like, I sat there for, like, a half hour, like, yo. What happened, yo? Yeah. Like this, what? Yeah, this happening for real? Old I, Road? No. Yeah. No. But I'm thinking about it from the flip side, though, because before I realized you was talking about him. Okay, abuse. so we're but actually, about hold on, wait, <laughs> hold on. No, sorry, I'm gonna ask a dumb question, from, and I know a lot of people go ask. As well. That's no, no, no. To take it to no, no, well. no, no. I'm asking a dumb question. Oh, I'm asking a dumb question because I know somebody is asking this dumbass question. How's a 12 year old overpowering his father to rape him? What is the dynamic with this? Is the father afraid? What what what's what's going on? What is the angle with this? And this is a repetitive thing. So time after time, you are raping your father. Is this because he rather him rape him than have sex with men out the road? Like is is that what that is? Just watch that, please. Like I might have to go watch it again because I can't even remember all the details. Not I have so I many questions. It's wow. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna give me more questions. You, you watch that, oh, Jesus. okay? <laughs> I'm just I no, mean, because, no 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 I'm thinking about a lot of them no, not all I'm of not them asking her specifically I'm just saying these are questions that no, people are gonna ask sorry. It's, you're watching it no we, we traumatized. you traumatized I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> you're a visual person it's funny because when it comes to rape oh boy whenever you hear about a man oh boy it's funny Oh boy! It's a laughing. Ooh! Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's not the part that was funny. It's the fact no, that it was his. It was the yeah. son. Yeah. The part that was funny is visualizing the son. And yeah. The yeah. The Cause whole thing. They, yeah. yeah. And then I'm extra, like. So yeah. You know Listen, I don't turn <laughs> into like thinking. Like I, I'm. There's so many images. I'm a visual person. So but you said that. And what? What kind of dynamic were you talking about? Well, I'm thinking about as far as. I feel like he could have overpowered his son. Physically. Right, right. Physically. Oh, okay. That's that's why I said, I know somebody's going to say, how did a 12-year-old overpower his dad? You know what I'm saying? That's I know somebody's asking that question. A bunch of people are asking that question. I me, personally. That question. I just need to yeah, watch me. That's what I'm saying. It's Could it be a psychological thing? Like, it's not necessarily about the physical aspect of overpowering him physically, like, nigga, get off me. But was he homophobic or was he afraid that people might know that his son is gay or mm. anything of that. Like like I said, mm. if, you know, he would rather him fuck him than go out having my, sex my, with my, other... My, my, my. That's what I'm saying. I have so <laughs> many questions. Like, there's Ooh. so many different dynamics that could have Ooh, been the spawn for this being an ongoing thing. Mm-hmm. And then to go forth and say that he's married. Us, did his wife know yeah, about he, this beforehand? He like, was, no. And then the thing about that that scares me is, what if he has kids with this woman? What happens then? You don't just rape somebody just, you know, just, eh, 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 I just feel like raping somebody. Like, that's right. not, Yeah, that's like you know, my father. Yeah, on top of that. Okay. On for top a very of that. long time. <laughs> Sir. Continuously for him to go write about it. Child. Continuously. You know what I'm saying? So then that just, like, I hope you are unable to give, like, have kids because I'm afraid. Scum. <laughs> the, yeah. 
you know? So, and it's funny that he said, you know, you hear about rape when it's a man. It's funny. And mm. there's a lot of reasons why men don't come out and talk about it. Correct. However. Y'all don't be mad at me. Yeah, we, we never did a laugh. Just I never me, laughed for a laugh. Was, it wasn't that. I'm extra and you know, so we're not the theatrics sense. and all that. I don't think yeah. any of that shit is funny. None Rape, of it. Nothing is funny. None Nobody of it. getting raped. Anything, sexual harassment, anything like that is funny to me, really. Crazy you said that. I was at work, like, right when I was leaving. I think I left work, like, six something today. And we were talking about, you know, just random things. Like, all the managers sit down after work talking about foolishness, off the clock, but not really conversations. And they said something to me about... One of the employees, one of the male employees, like grabbing the a girl, a female employee, like by the waist, like his hand was around her waist, and he was kind of like, you know, like when you joking with somebody, you said, "Girl, come on, you know you my dog," like yeah. type of thing, and he like had his, but because of the facility we work in, and because it's work, you're not really supposed to be touching nobody like that, and we work in a facility that has people with mental barriers and disabilities and things like that, so we don't want anybody to have any kind of reaction to something like that even if in the moment you might not say nothing but it's still like you know what are you doing no touchy touch and then where he was touching her too and like his arm was wrapped around her waist and operations manager is the one who saw it. he was like nah <laughs> no you you can't do that she might not say nothing now but you never know what may happen Man, right we merged our departments we have a, two more, two male supervisors now. There's a supervisor and another manager that's now a part of the management team. And he called a girl into the office, and he was like, hey, Janae, I, will, I need you to come sit down with me first. Now, I'm thinking, just because people be lying and be like, oh, they didn't tell me that, just to be like, oh, whatever. you know? Because usually when we do meetings, we have two supervisors and the person just so they can't be like, oh, we never had a meeting type of thing. But he's saying, apparently people have accused him of things by coming into his office and closing doors and having conversations and then trying to go back and say, oh, he tried to do this or he forced himself. And I was like, now he done name dropped some people. And I'm like, Mm -mm. Mm -mm. obviously no longer with the company. Right. But I'm like, yo, that is like, I feel bad for men Mm -hmm. because y'all, you know, it's funny because we talk about how women are afraid to be in the presence of men mm-hmm. so often because men are so rapey and creepy and all that stuff. But then you think about bitches. I'm saying bitches. Bitches like that who will lie and say a man raped them when mm-hmm. nigga ain't even looking at you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they are afraid to be in close quarters that's where, with that's a woman. Where they mess up. Yeah, mm-hmm. in close quarters with a woman because they don't want to be accused of something. You know what I'm saying? Be falsely accused of something. Because the minute a, guy, a woman says, he touched me, he guess what happened? Mm-hmm. Police come. You everybody, gone. Everybody on him. They have, to, they, they have to stop and say, hey, this is, you know, what happened. They have to do an investigation. Because. As you recall. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That one time we were nosy. Yeah. Look what happened. Yeah. And it was the girl. Yeah. But yeah. they took the guy. But it's funny because. Neither one of them called the police. Somebody else called the police. Mm. And it's because she pregnant and she this. And me and you sitting there being fast and she's the antagonizer. The man is trying to leave that and you so wild. wild up, wild I up. I really wonder how that turned out. Should have went to court, nigga. <laughs> Go. Who? Should have brought your ass to court. They you sent you them letters to the house. Who, bro? Like... <laughs> Go defend that man and tell him what happened. Yo, y'all don't mind I hope he, I hope he didn't go to jail, though. I, I really, really hope, hope not, because it wasn't even him, yo. Yeah. But the police officer that came and talked to us, he knew that it wasn't them, though. Because he was... The man looked distressed. Like, he was like, yo, I'm tired of that girl, you know? Low me. Move your blood clot. Like, come off of me. And they steady running him yeah, down. she was just on it, yeah. She didn't want to stop. No, the man jumped out of a moving car. Dog. <laughs> y'all, it's a wild time. Some of y'all need to stop. Somebody tell you to leave them alone? Just leave them alone. Cause y'all be y'all be doing the most, Back. and lying on people and all of this. Like, what good is he gonna do for the baby in jail? Can I tell you? So bit that's said. Idiot man, but it's a fucked up world we live in. It really is, from so many different angles. Yeah. So many different angles. Everything is fucked up, Janae. Yeah. I don't know. That's why I said. You know, I live in my little bubble. Right. I don't. I don't watch the news. <laughs> right. I. That's why the president sending y'all just, alerts on the phone because kinda, of people. Yeah, go I with the really, I'm really just, I don't. That feeling, yo. Mm-hmm. 
like I said earlier, that feeling. Listen, if Mega dead, everybody like I'm somewhere like at an airport or something <sighs> like that, and everybody phone go off. Mm-mm. Come on, yo. Mm-mm. I'm not with none of that. Mm-mm. <sighs> but they testing communication, yeah. and somebody said something, yeah. and there was like. Okay, they can do that. What do you, what else do you think they can do mm-hmm. on your phone? Because you don't know where that message came from. I don't got nothing going on. Good luck to them. Yeah, but as well, you know, you might not want people in your business and things, but in I don't real got nothing life, going on. On the lucky. I'm a speck of dirt. I don't got <laughs> nothing going on here. A damn thing. Routine. Yeah. Go to work, party one, two time, go home. But I want hello. Yeah. And then what? So that is it. That is it. Exactly. So I don't got nothing going on for them to want to spy. Yeah. On. But if that's what they try to do, all right. I mean, I don't know if they trying. <laughs> I don't know if they trying. Like the new um which one of them Google phones that when you get it, mm-hmm. before you even set up nothing, it's picking up. So song playing down the street. This is this is playing. Wait, what? Wait, what? I can't remember which one it is that he has. The operations matter for my department because I used to sit across from him. He'd have his phone on the desk and then it'll light up and he'll look and it'll tell the song that's playing in the next department. Like Shazam just all the time. Okay, so like, he's hello just, Google. His Shazam is just on all at all times. But it's the hello Google thing. Like you know, Okay, like, yeah, but it's yeah. like Shazam at all times. Yeah. You have to manually go in there and turn. But he older and he Really? <laughs> yeah. So you need to know every song that come on throughout the day? Must sir. So. Sir, please. <laughs> Match your dad. <laughs> <laughs> he annoying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's it's the phone though. He he ended so up. So he turning, could go to the club with his phone? He ended up oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo. I would be tight. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. They want a mix in. The, the whole song don't even play out. <laughs> yeah. Completely. He ended up turning it off though because he realized after a while that yo, what the f- uh, like yeah. he's on his phone a lot, so the minute he put it down, the radio is playing. Sure. <laughs> Listen, put up what? Yeah, what is? Do, 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 like, yeah. yeah. Not not picking up because three different truck I play one time. He got a chill. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I don't know. We are wrapping this up. You have nothing else you want to talk about? Y'all, good night. Until next time. You know, I might pop up when Janae got something juicy to talk about. Juicy, juicy. Anyways, just like every other week, <clears throat> let me do my um. My my sex positive. Oh, hold on. Do Sorry. My, no, 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 hold no. on. No, no, no. Book upon um a podcast. I be I be promoting people here and there. That it's called the Broken Pussy Podcast. First of all, Broken Pussy. Broken Pussy like, Podcast. Like pussy. Sure. I'd, broken I've never, Insecure. I've never, you watch? I've never watched Insecure. You would like. So I've heard. Pussy. Okay. Pussy. So maybe that's where they got it that's from. Right. That's exactly. Where okay. They got it from. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Yeah, because insecure been out for a little bit. So yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Go broken pussy. But the exactly exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> the um the girl she actually followed me and I was like ooh rainbow flag Jamaican flag follow instantly lit, lit. and then she that's was like goal. she hit me up and I was like oh da 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 and I was just like. Oh, you have a pot. You know me in the English accent. Mm. So I clicked it, and it's her and two other girls. And I was like, oh. Okay. But, <laughs> yeah. And their names are, was it? It's not their real names, obviously. It was like Amethyst, Ruby, and Jesus. She's going to kill me because I forgot the other one. But it's all stones. And I was like, wait, is this from, I can't remember that anime, but it's, oh, Jesus. Don't fucking bother me. <laughs> this is going to bother me. Well, oh Jesus! But yeah, there's this anime that I feel like you should probably watch. You might like it. There's a black girl with a really huge afro. It's really awesome. There's a black girl with an afro. Yeah. Why do you think I'd want to see that? I don't know, cause you like black people. With afros? Yeah. And I like afros. You're right. Yeah. Okay. You know, just and what's the name saying. of it? I don't know. Black girl with afro. Yeah, black girl with afro anime. Right, I bro. bet you if you type it in, it'll come up. For you real? Know what? Let me type. <laughs> 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 Let me. You do it. <laughs> it's oh Jesus. It's on the tip of my tongue too. So on the on the podcast, is what it Steven what Universe? They talk about? Is it Steven Universe? They talk about it's a sex positive podcast. That's why it came into my head. I said sex positive. Um, they talk about everything from you know pum pum maintenance and what to do in Speaking the bedroom. Of, <clears throat> mm. Yes, it is Steven Universe. Let me just drop this in real quick. Um, I was on Twitter today. Uh huh. <clears throat> you know, you sex and all that. Um. There was an argument. Oh Jesus! About lube. Ugh. This girl was arguing that 
oh, she did not have to use lube because her thing was always wet. It stayed wet. It was, it's always go. First of all, that's a lie. Okay. Right? She's a lesbian. She used straps. She doesn't use, you know, she doesn't have sex with men. So, first of all. Okay. Thank <laughs> Yeah, that's a lie. And basically telling everybody else that their sex is whack because they used lube. Um, wild girl. Can very we, wild girl. Can we can we backtrack and talk about real life? Like, if you fucking for more than 15 minutes and it's like some real shit going on. This is what I'm saying. So, your shit is whack. Okay? Something drying up. Either the sex is whack. It's not big enough. It's it's you. Yeah, it or you having sex for two minutes? Because how you always you just all you put, just maybe you have a yeast infection. Maybe just, it's vaginal discharge. But this is what everybody was trying to say. Oh shit! Everybody was <laughs> yeast and all types of stuff going on. Everybody was like, um. Yeah. But you know, some women don't know the difference between you know reg reg Reginald. <laughs> Reginald. <No, I'm> <laughs> like regular like vaginal juices and. Discharge. discharge. A, mm -hmm. a lot of women don't know the difference. So she she probably do Listen, think, you know, you the are, creamy, clunky. There's a lot of women that don't even know where they're peeing from, bro. Don't start if you this. Really wanna, don't, if don't you start really want to keep it don't funky, start this, a lot of them don't know nothing yeah. about nothing. They don't, a lot of them don't examine themselves. They don't look at what's going on. Like, Listen, I told touch somebody. Touch yourself, did. feel yourself. Like, is this, look, look, get you a book. There's stuff on YouTube, Google, Get whatever. a mirror. Google. <laughs> But I'm saying, get yeah. you like a something to look a at. A diagram. Cock up your leg. Cock up your. Get a yeah. mirror. And look and at it. And look. I'm like, is this like, is this in the right place? Touch around. See like, what, see this how what lip feels. Really supposed to be over here like this. <laughs> like suppose you got one, like two lips on one side and none on the other. You know what I'm saying? But you look, look at. Look. <laughs> they gonna be sick of me. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Suppose something is wrong. And like yeah. stuff happens down there with women and they don't, they don't know, know until too late. Yep. Because they didn't take the time to But a lot of people shame women for masturbating and all of that too because it's okay for guys to play with themselves all day. They got little boys running around playing with their Teely from <laughs> diapers Teely. from you calling it Teely. <laughs> you know? And they sit there, they play with it and all of this stuff and it's okay. Well, they grow up, they masturbate, it's fine. But as soon as a girl, oh my gosh, who was it? Somebody posted something the other day about talking to children as though they are little human beings instead of, you know, go, 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 like all that foolishness. And the lady was saying that her daughter had, um, what's it, used infection or urinary tract? And one of the two. And when they went to the doctor, the, you know, the doctors always ask, okay, honey, what's wrong with you? And the little girl was saying that her uterus hurt. That she was having issues in, you know, her lower abdominal region and, you know, her uterus and her ovaries. And she was using all the mm -hmm. proper terms. Right. The doctor was looking like, why the fuck does she know? They're like four or five years old. Mm -hmm. It's like, why does she know this? Mom is like, she not supposed to know her body? <laughs> like, she's... I like that. Is she not supposed to know her body? Because I like that. I'm thinking about it now. She says that from a medical standpoint, like, yes, because you said, Suppose. oh, oh, my, my, my pocketbook doesn't feel well. What? <laughs> my Bitch, pocket, what? My pocketbook. My, my pocketbook. <laughs> Bitch, you got a purse? Like, and so many, you know them old people be calling it a pocketbook. So, you know what I'm saying? They have all these. All possible. What? Oh. <laughs> Mama used to call it up. You're possible. Yeah. Make sure for wash your possible. Yeah. Like, the fuck? <laughs> like, we go to the doctor all for the... real, my possible is hurting. Your possible what? <laughs> Poss possible what? Po what is possible? Like, yeah. And <laughs> realistically speaking, we laughing, but there's so many cute names for it. And people try to use it to try to make it more pleasing to talk about mm -hmm. you know there's so many cute names you know that for the vagina and it's like yo it is what it is mm -hmm. you know and people they shame it that's so back to the topic like of yoni oh jesus it's my favorite what book was that from a lot a lot of eric jerome yes books. eric jerome <laughs> yes and a lot of different things too. yeah yoni. yeah there was a girl who called now they have yoni balls yes they do so yes they do. yes yeah. women you know i'm telling them for quintet and if we do our on a kegels, okay, it strengthens the wall and it helps you come faster. Make sure you reach your orgasm. It's not about the other person. That part. I mean, it is, but it's not. So just as I said, make sure I do what uno I do for make sure it's uno I come. Cause that part. So many of y'all ain't coming in. Jesus, Lord, it's showing. That, hey, that rhymed. That <laughs> part. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we oh. are going to wrap it up. Wrap that up. Take wrap it, take it, it the fuck up. Just like every other week, make sure you follow. Hey, wait. You doing anything you need to promote before I, I do my outro? Promote what? I don't know. Yeah, sell nothing. Yeah, give it nothing. I don't know. Tell me what I sell up here. Look. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. Conflict. Them sugar on Instagram, though. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. But no, I'm good. All right, you good? All yeah, right. I, I, so, might, I might show up again. Oh, well, you know, it's funny. Um, I read a poem the other day on the show. So if anybody's interested in dropping a poem or a short story, make sure you submit that. Mm. If you want us to read it on the show, let me know. <coughs> Ask pointless at gmail. Like, you want to spit something? Nah, you know something? I, so uh, I can send you something. Okay. Know, well, we can do it anonymous. You don't have to put your name. If you want, you know, a little publicity or whatever, you can put the it name might, and I'll be, say. It might be a lot. It might be a lot, though. That's fine. Yeah, make sure I have my water and my chapstick, you know, if yeah. it's long-winded. Yeah, somebody might feel some type of way Listen, home, if I know? cry, you know, I'm just saying I got feelings and stuff. I'm yeah, a cancer. I might feel a little hurt, <laughs> you know? Oh, Jesus. Well, all of those, if I don't want to throw water, and I and want a message. <clears throat> we, we can do that, too. <laughs> so just, you know, if you have poetry, short story, anything like that you want shared on the show, feel free to submit. It's askpointless at gmail.com, A-S-K-P-O-I-N-T-L-E-S-S-S at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to listen, like, subscribe, follow, rate, all that good stuff. Tune in. iTunes, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud. Earthing. All of it. Google Play Music, Spotify. <laughs> Earth everything you can find. Well, not everything. We we get in there though. It's everywhere. There. And if you say you didn't see it, you lie. A lot. It's pointless talks on everything. You pointless. Lie. Cause I trust me. It did it. I see it everywhere, y'all. <laughs> so <laughs> I know y'all do too. So. <laughs> Leave on a bad mind feelings that went to on a self. <laughs> I mean, you feel me? You in your car? Turn it on real quick. Exactly. Plug it up. You might laugh, you might cry. Look a bit of everything. Yeah. So whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in.